In video number two, we're going to be taking a look at cell growth a little bit more, and we're going to start to look at the uh, chromosome and how the chromosome plays a part in this cell division. Some vocabulary that we need to know, though, when we look at the cell and the cell dividing, we need to know that cell division is a process. So there are several steps involved in the cell dividing, and in the division process, you take the original cell that you have and it's going to break apart into two daughter cells. One, two, three, four, five, six total chromosomes in the original cell and then one, two, three, four, five, six in that daughter cell. One, two, three, four, five, six in that daughter cell. So it's important to know that when you're dividing the cell in half, you're not cutting your number of chromosomes. Your number of chromosomes is actually staying the same. That's very important. Uh, for mitosis, which is our process of cell division. One of the ways in which our chromosomes, we can keep the same amount, we start with six and each one of the copies has six, is because our cells replicate their DNA. And replicate means to make a copy of. So the original like mom chromosome, the mom cell, had maybe, let's say, two chromosomes in it. And we have a black one and a red one. And what I want you to notice is it goes through a process where the two letters kind of cut themselves in half and each one reforms the opposite half so that when the cell divides, each of the daughter cells get what the mom, parent, original had as well. So that's really important cell uh, replicating their DNA because without replication, um, then our number of chromosomes would get cut um, in half. So this allows for your materials to uh, exchange with the environment. Cells can stay small, and uh, that's what we want. We want our cells to stay small. Now, if we start to look at cell division and some of the steps, for prokaryotes, the process is pretty simple. Your DNA is going to make a copy of itself, and the cell separates down the middle, and it separates into two. Um, pretty easy. You and I are not made up of prokaryote cells. We are made up of eukaryote cells, and so the process for us is a little bit more extensive. We go through a process called mitosis, and this is where the nucleus divides because we have a nucleus. The nucleus needs to divide, and then we go through cytokinesis, and this is where the cytoplasm divides. Remember, prokaryotes don't have a nucleus, so they can just copy their chromosomes, cut in half, and they're good to go. But for us, we have to copy the nucleus and copy, um, sorry, divide our nucleus and divide our cytoplasm. We're going to be looking at this. Um, this picture will show up multiple times. But that process that I was just looking at was right here, mitosis. This is where the nucleus is dividing. And then this part right here, the cytoplasm is dividing. The rest of this is kind of just a growth period for the cell to grow and mature and get to the point where it needs to divide, uh, where it's not getting enough food, oxygen, waste, uh, out, so on, uh, where it needs to go through this division process. Now chromosomes are a key uh, component to this, and so there are a few parts to a chromosome that we need to know, and we'll label a picture here in a moment. But chromosomes are copied before the cell can even divide, and again, I explained why. If we have six chromosomes to start with and we're wanting to make identical copies, each one will need six copies. So we need to uh, make sure that we copy our chromosomes. Chromatids are a piece of the chromosome. These are identical copies. So after the chromosome has made a copy of itself, it's going to have two chromatids and that would be kind of like identical twins. They're going to have uh, two copies of exactly the same information. And when the cell divides, one chromatid will go into one cell and one chromatid goes into the other. Therefore, each of your new cells has the same genetic information because the chromatids were copies of each other. And then lastly, as far as chromosomes are concerned, there, there's another piece on a chromosome called a centromere. And the centromere is just the place where the chromatid um, connects or where it attaches. So if I were to draw a chromosome, and usually we draw these like as X shapes, and the reason that it's an X shape, and I'm not the best drawer by any means, if we were to 
draw a line down the center, we would want to say that these two halves are identical to each other, perfectly symmetrical, um, not only symmetrical, but just DNA-wise, this half and this half should be identical. They should have exactly the same DNA. There are no differences. Uh, these are the chromatids. Remember the note said that the chromatid is identical copies of the chromosomes. So these are the identical copies, identical chromatids. This whole entire piece, all the four parts, this is one chromosome. Because it's connected, it's just one chromosome. And then notice that the two, like this piece here, this is all one half, is bonded at this point. So this little red dot right here, this is the centromere, which we just got done defining, is the area where the chromatids attach. So you should have that drawn in your notes. And the next slide is just going to show a picture of, this is an actual real chromosome magnified thousands of times, you notice that they're not really nice, neat, even uh, the way I draw them. They are made up of protein and nucleic acids that are kind of raveled around each other. So this is really what it looks like. Um, there's just bumpy spots and spots that, um, you know, it's just, that's just the way it is because it's like a piece of yarn you've wrapped up, so it's going to have little edges and things. Uh, but these are the two halves, okay, that are uh, chromatids of each other and they're bonded right there. So we have our two halves. And you need to notice that I've got the centromere labeled. Um, the whole entire piece is called a chromosome. And then the two uh, copies of each other are the two chromatids. And they should be the identical copies.